Hello everyone, it's me the Chucks, my name's Bingo, you another Chucks from Laser Commentary and as you can see here, you guys are totally awesome and you managed to unlock the bonus the bonus episode. Um, so, uh, as you guys know, or most of you know, in the bonus episodes I use my private save um, to do deliveries um, and in this one I will be using my private save. I, my private save, wrong way, root length, short. No, I don't know what, are they all long? I want the... Oh right, I see, okay. They're all... Wait, I don't... don't. Oh good, okay, they're not all that long. Good, right, anyways. Um, so... Yeah, this is... This is... My... Uh, my... That's not really private anymore, is it? My personal save. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, a personal save will do. Right, okay, so this one is... 608 miles, 20 hours, but it's mostly C. So that one seems like it'll be less driving time. But this one's 403. It's 95. Yeah, let's do... Thank you, sir, because that's a cool one anyway. It's a nice trailer. Right, okay, so I've just uh, been in the repair shop, had to repair my truck. Kind of a shame. And we get the lovely Great British River. No, not O. P. No, what? P. Yes. Good. My game is really laggy, so I'm just going to do something to, with my options. I changed a bit of um, a few of the settings around on my on my thingy. Uh, so if I just put them back to where they were in the last video. Unfortunately, recording on Fraps isn't that great, so if I just stick that on low. Uh, I think that should do if I apply that. Right. Hopefully that sorts out the frame rate because obviously trying to record everything including the distance of the mirrors it can be rather tricky especially while it's raining. Um, but you know without recording and stuff it is a lot smoother. It's just a shame that I guess maybe the rain is just being really a pain plus being in sort of Manchester and stuff. Right. Um, so yeah so this is this is really awesome. Again there's no updates of SCS software on the um, blocked. It's been like a week now. Seriously, come on, SES. We're, we're we're waiting on you. It's like, I've, I guess what the what 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 what. Um, I guess what they always say when it comes to no blog updates means they're working hard on something. Uh, working hard or hardly working, I don't know, but just working generally hard. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And fingers crossed, it's not on DLC because I haven't got paid yet. I'd, I, it'd actually suck if it was like, hey guys, we have this DLC, you guys can buy it. So I can't buy it. I haven't got the money. Oh, <laughs> that'd be terrible. That'd be absolutely terrible. But it's not going to happen, so it's all good, right? Anyway, so uh, now for you guys that in, uh, for you guys that have the game already and you're wondering how I have tankers are and all of that stuff in my game, um, if any of you are new or whatever, then this is from Daniel's um, real company mod. This contains companies, real logistics companies, which are European, which sort of go around Europe renowned for mainly going around Europe. For example, you've got Virginia, Norbert Dentrosangle, and Dentrosangle, or whatever, you, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I pronounce it Dentrosangle, whatever. But um, you've also got Norbert Dentrosangle, uh, Virginia, and Los others. for example, thank you, sir, which is what I am doing today. And I am delivering this to QN and Nago, or Nature, I don't know how you pronounce that one. There's so many different pronouncing stuff of words and things, it's confusing and complicated and stuff. Which is probably why the English language is one of the most difficult languages to learn. Why have I got... I should have my lights on! Crikey, don't want to be doing that. Right, have I got, actually got them... No, on. Good, right, just checking I had them on. Can't really tell, because I'm in a city, so you get the lights of the city. But, um... But, obviously... When it, I'd still get fined if... I'm out of the sea, which kind of does suck. It's like they don't make a difference, but you're gonna get fine if you don't have them on, so you've got to put them on. Um, now this is this is actually pretty cool because you get you guys do get to see what it's like at night time and in the rain. Um, not too foggy at the moment. When I came to the city, I believe it was a lot foggier than this. I think uh, if I remember rightly. Um, now the delivery I'd done just before this, I would have loved to record because so much happened in that delivery, like just loads of different things, complications and stuff. It was it was awesome. I like deliveries like that, but it was extremely long, and I just couldn't. It's like it would have been rather difficult to have. I could not have recorded all of it because it was like an hour and a half long in real lifetime or something like that. Um, if I go and have a look, let's go, no, not that one. If I go, uh, progress history, progress, uh, that one. Uh, nitrocellulose from Linz to Manchester, so it was 856, 854 miles and I got 95 grand for it. So if I just show you sort of where Linz and Man I'm at Manchester at the moment, uh, and then you've got Linz, which is down there. So as you can see, it's an incredibly, incredibly long journey. Um, now, for those of you that are 
curious or wondering about the different complications that I had, um, it's kind of a lot of different sort of things really. We had, I was meant to use this ferry port to get to Grimsby, but I thought, because the thing is, that's, that's actually a good point, this brings me on to a different topic, and that topic would be a little, um, little work around the game when it comes to urgent deliveries and um, just the best way to try and e that's close the best way to try and use use your time put on my note at uh, what oh okay uh that one and beacons because i've got i've got diesel so i need my beacons on can't really tell but you know but yeah so i have found a brilliant work array a work around for urgent deliveries and having loads and loads of time spare when you need to cross the the the, the seas because if you're going just uh, one of these one of these little crossings, it won't work. You've it's got to be one of the longer ones where it counts as sleep. Because I found that the actual time delivery, where it says time remaining on your delivery, doesn't actually count ferry crossings as sleep. But when it comes to sleep, it actually does. So it it gives you time to sleep and time for the ferry crossing. But if you can get to the ferry crossing, even if you've only got an hour like with sleep time left, then you will have loads and loads of time spare just you will because it doesn't count it wouldn't count it, it would think that you still need a rest when in actual fact you don't which I think is actually brilliant because I done that with this one where I was meant to go, go to this very port and I was hoping to make it there because I didn't sleep I got to this very port with zero minutes remaining uh, for sleep for sleep wise but I got there and I didn't get fined and I got to that that ferry port took me up to Newcastle. So, um, but if I I would I would have got fined if I tried going to that one without sleeping. And I just wanted as much time spare as I could get. So, I took that ferry port, went up to Newcastle, and I drove down. I had like, I think it was 20 to 40 hours left of the delivery and time remaining. And it only took about four hours to <laughs> four hours to drive from that port down there. So it's not really too bad. Um, it's a nice drive, and it was just it just made it a lot easier, less stressful. Because obviously it's like, well, obviously, if you've got minutes remaining on your urgent delivery, then it's a bit stressful, I guess. Because I don't know, you just want to make it on time. I do. I always, I always try and make it on time. I don't think I've ever done a late delivery on this game yet. I think touch wood, I don't. Um, this is urgent, so it may actually happen, but we'll find out. Because it's just one of those things if it happens it happens but I'm hoping it won't we may have an hour or two to spare it just the thing is with this the timing on this and the ETA, ETA as well so like the ETA is giving me 10 10 hours and I've got 19 hours to get there the Euro tunnel only takes about um, half an hour I think or maybe an hour and a half um, although that does include sleep so it may give me I don't know but the ETA ETA is usually wrong because that says 9 hours 50 at the moment but chances are that will go down a lot quicker than real life time because I it doesn't really think that you're going to be driving 56 the whole way there and I try and just stick on cruise control and work my way down I may go a bit slower on this journey I don't need that open uh, I may go a bit slower on this journey because I've got diesel when it comes to these sort of junctions and stuff well, I don't know and plus it's raining but I don't know what this truck's trailers really like when it comes to this I don't think it's too bad the nitrocellulose which is the cargo I had just before this that was absolutely terrible. I almost lost control of it a couple of times. Didn't damage it. Didn't uh, didn't actually completely crash. But there was the odd time when my truck would sort of try and turn sideways, and I'd had to s I'd basically switch lanes while I was trying to correct it and stuff. But it was it was all good. I didn't I didn't have to slop completely to try and fix it. It was just a matter of trying to get my steering wheel and trying to make. Because the thing is with when you lose control of it, when your truck starts sliding, some people will end up losing complete control of it while they're trying to regain control of it because they'll make giant movements and your truck just won't like it. But the thing is, the trick is, just try and make as little movements as you can because your truck should really sort of try and sort itself out. Like if you're turning really sharp left going too fast and your truck sort of turning over, overturning I guess, I think is what it's called, and over over steering or whatever. but. So then you turn to the right, but too much. So then you lose it. But if you turn right, and your truck starts to turn that way, which is what it, it will always—it will basically always do that. It will always try and then turn too much to the right. But then you just got to turn it a little bit to the left and accept that you're going to go into a different lane. Just hope that you're not going to crash into anyone while you're doing it. Because obviously, going into a different lane but not damaging your load is better than. 
completely damaging your load and jackknifing and all sorts. Um, but it is it is tricky. I love the handling on this game. It's all different and it's all so much better than than UKTS. I absolutely absolutely love the different types of car you can have in the different um, and the different the different sort of handling that you can get because there's so many different ADR licenses and they give you different types of trailers. Most of them, most of the trailers are pretty much the same, but they are sort of always different. Cut third lane, nope. I'll go and under undertake. Why not? He does it. They all do it. It's funny when they undertake. I tend to try and cut up. If I can, if I'm not over, if there's like some a car trying to about to undertake me, I always go in front of him just so he can't because it's illegal. You can't do it. You shouldn't do it. Um, but I'm doing it. <laughs> it's like it's illegal. Can't do it. Shouldn't do it. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> but he's going really slowly. This is urgent, and um, I have diesel, so your argument is invalid. <laughs> but yeah, so that's sort of my little tricks of the ETS2 kind of thingies. Um, I ain't a great driver on this, I don't think. I wouldn't have said I am. Um, but I would really love to do like nitrocellulose or a delivery like that, so you guys can see that sort of handling. Um, the delivery did actually start off really sort of bad. It was like, it was a graveyard shift. I had to sleep at the start of the delivery. And it was about 8 p.m. when I woke up, which means I'm gonna be. I was driving through the night until the early until uh, about I don't know if it was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm not even counting. I'm just pretending I am. It was about 8 p.m. probably. 8 a.m. Would it be 8? If I woke up at 8 p.m., it would have been uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, that's 10 hours. Oh yeah, 18. 19. So 19 is 7. 7, so 7 a.m. is the time that I would have had to woke up. No, it's the time that I would have had to go back to sleep. So that is a complete night shift. Plus it was raining and it was foggy, which made things extremely difficult. Um, luckily most of it was motorway. Although it was really tricky because I did have to go, if I just show you quickly, uh, Lynn. So most of it, it there's a quite a lot of different um, corners and turns and stuff. It was around, I think this bit here, um, and then just th there's just quite a bit where it's really sharp. I think that bit I kind of I went a bit iffy on, but you know it was kind of it was it was a decent run. I didn't like I said I didn't crash. I didn't do anything to completely kill my truck or trailer. Um, it was all good. Um, it was just a little bit tricky. Had to slow down in some places. Had to try and correct myself in a few other places. But but it's always good. It's always fun and good 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 fun. I mean, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into with the different sort of cargoes. You you sort of know by the name that nitrocellulose is going to be quite tricky to handle. Um, and then diesel, not so much. It's kind of the ones which aren't. Well, I, I I say it's kind of the ones which aren't in the game. But you've got fireworks and explosives, which are just fine to handle. I find I don't think they're too bad. Just for the simple fact that. Um, I don't know, just for the simple fact that it's just sort of a basic cargo. I don't really think that in real life that'd be that tricky to handle. It's pretty much just some some companies decide to put fireworks on curtain sliders, I think let's just stick on my wipers. Be really cool in this game if you had different sort of wiper out oh, fifty okay. Uh be really cool if on this game you had like different wiper controls like slow and then fast. Like obviously that's asking probably quite a lot. S yes no that everyone want this, that, then the other. Oh my god, I'm ever taking again. Whoops, sorry. Speed up a bit then. <laughs> Income five grand, awesome. I've got almost five million euros now. I keep meaning to spend it on buying garages, but I only want to buy garages in capital cities. Um I haven't bought one in London yet. I've already got one in Birmingham though, so I think it's Birmingham. Birmingham or Sheffield. No, be Birmingham, Birmingham. Um but and I've I, I, let's have a look at I don't know let's have a look at my garages a sec. Uh, company manager garage. So I've got uh, I want to do map view just to take a look at where they all are. So I've got one in Paris, one in Amsterdam, on 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 Osnan Brook, a bit of a random one. Um, I think I'm going to try and put one in Frankfurt. I think is the capital of London. I'm not sure. Then I've got Luxembourg um, <laughs> in that little. I think that's a country probably I don't know but then we've just got Italy which is Milano but yeah so that's sort of the company side of things I need to get more garages I want to try and get I don't go to Warsaw much but I think either Warsaw or Pasnari will have um, one and then I've just got to try and get one in one of these one of these but I, as you can see I don't really 
buy them as I should. I don't really pay much attention as to where I am, I just think, right, I've delivered this, let's go and what load can I take next? I'm, I'm more of a... I like to be out on the road, I don't spend much time thinking about my company, which I don't really need to, but when my money's building up like this, I should, because I don't like getting too much money, because I don't need this much money. I can turn my lights off now, it's 6.30 a.m., no rain, lovely sunset, sunrise, sunrise, let's just, ah, gorgeous sunrise. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. This is just absolutely, ah, uh, and then the windmills in the distance. I don't really care why some people don't like the look of windmills. I think they look really nice in the countryside. It's like some people are like, eh, it's, it's like people always complain when windmills go in the countryside, and it's like, but I think it kind of suits it. I think it's rather nice to see sort of the man made mechanical stuff along with some countryside and things. Although there is always that sort of thing, that sort of, that sort of, uh, issue with windmills and stuff. People are always like, oh no, it's, dang, it's damaging for the. It's, it's an eyesore and it's damaging for the environment or birds will fly into it and it's like birds will fly into it so who's the clever one? You should just like I don't know but birds are really stupid anyway it's like they just fly into they fly into everything animals in general are really stupid I think it's like dogs and stuff are clever when it comes to things but they just don't understand danger and they should they just they just don't it's like they see a car, some dogs will run in front of the car like, yeah, that's just, the car will stop for me. It's like, it's a big, loud metal object coming towards you. Maybe you should stop for the car. Maybe you should let the car drive first. No, it's fine. I'm a dog, I'm invincible. It's only cats that have my lives, God. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, animals, animals. I like animals, but they're stupid. They just run, they just run in front of everything and fly into everything and... Wouldn't surprise me if you saw him bloody running off cliffs. It's fine, the clouds will catch me. Wait, clouds so imagine a cliff that high. Well well, I guess you may do, I don't know. But you know, maybe just it's fine, I can walk in midair. <coughs> I won't die, I can swim. There's a shark down there, but he's gonna help me because he looks friendly. Let's play with the shark. Let's all play with the shark because he looks friendly. That's what that's what uh, that's what animals are like. That is really what animals are like. And I came from animals talking about windmills, talking about the beautiful sunrise, because this game, even 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 just now, I don't really. Thing is, we're doing these videos. I pay attention to more stuff. Like sometimes when I'm just driving, I just stick on some music, sing along, and I just go into a world of my own. Somehow I don't crash, but there we go. But in these videos, I kind of pay attention because I'm actually having to keep my brain going. So it's like I can just watch everything and watch the sun's sunrise and I don't need fuel let's just check something else excellent right let's take a look at that a second 88 point no 88.57 I have explored oh man I really want to get 100% before the next before SES release a new map just so that I have all of this one up together I don't know what it is about that sort of thing but I just I would love to be able to know what roads of the new thingy I've got left rather than having to go for all of that. Bad thing is, I found out when it comes to that percentage of map um, explored, it actually lets change lanes. It actually counts prefab, so um, repair stations in... Is he gonna... Let's have a look. Repair stations... Come on, overtake. Come on, change lanes. Come on, change. I'm letting you go. Go on. It counts. You have to drive into a repair station and that counts as being, oh my days, and I get over under bloody taken. I'm letting you overtake the thingy because he's going slow. But maybe you're pulling off. I guess you're pulling off. Whoops. So I, as you were, <laughs> as you were, I'll just overtake. That's cool. Uh, 50 limit. Okay, let's just reach 50 and then cruise control it. Um, but yeah, so that makes it a hell of a lot more difficult to actually get 100% because obviously they're not so easy to spot on the, on the actual map and when it comes to the final thing like 99.99% and it's like I don't know what prefab I haven't explored or what petrol station I haven't driven into or something and it's like oh god why can't it just be where just you drive past a prefab and it's it's there it kind of sucks that every prefab counts as, as a little minority of that percentage of map explored because it's just going to take so long to do speaking of maps I haven't explored and roads and stuff uh, I haven't explored that bit. Now I'm tempted I could just try and hope that it all goes well. Sounds like, sounds like a good idea. Let's let's drive on a road which I've never explored before. This should be exciting and in the distance we get to see 
an oil refinery or something like that. That's kind of cool. Um, SCS have done a great job on this map. I know I've said it plenty of times before, and I will say it a hell of a lot more. There's just uh, things on this map, just the sort of. It's always the sort of distance that you can see things at, and the sort of things that SCS have put over behind those trees, like that where, that building over there. You can see really far into the distance, and you can see the sort of detail that SCS have put into the map, and that that whatever that thing is like a. I don't even know what, the, but I know those things are in real life. Um, I've never seen one in the UK before, but in France you get sort of weird things like that. Um, so, I think it's just absolutely brilliant seeing all that stuff in the distance. Um, trees and, and, and all of that. Now I'm going to pull into the petrol station here. Don't need to, but I'm going to end the video here. Um, it feels like it's gone on for quite a while now. Maybe it hasn't, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make way for an ETS2 Let's Play uh, episode tomorrow and I'm just going to pull in and park in this spot here. Um, so yeah, um, feel free to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.